Okay, we're going to talk about some different things. I'm going to show you some things about hoof distortion. These are going to be in 10 minute increments. We're going to um, work on analogy and hoof distortion. And the number one thing that you need to remember, <coughs> got a hair in my mouth, when dealing with hooves, okay, when you're dealing with this foot right here that you work with, okay, and you're looking at the bottom, okay, the number one thing that you have to remember when you're dealing with this foot um, is that you're not dealing with one object. You are dealing with two objects and there are different physical forces placed upon each and they interact one with another and you have to understand how the inner foot of this right here Okay, how that responds and reacts to this thing right here. Okay, now this is the unseen, and this is the seen. But in order to deal with this right here, you have to understand and have a good mental image of the inner foot, just like you have a good image of your foot. Like shoe companies. And this is all based on structural engineering principles. Yeah, biology for sure. Anatomy for sure. But all anatomy is based on structural engineering principles and physical laws. And so you're going to have to come to understand a few things about that. Um, in this society we live in, we usually don't build our own houses. Now, um, I remodeled my house and I built houses. Um as work for many years so I understand all the principles from the foundation up on how to build a safe structure and so that will last and will hold up to you know all the rigors of nature and everything like that so so you know when this is basically the house that houses the foot here and so it the principles upon which this is based is the same as you building your house. Now, um, <clears throat> first of all, look at that. This uh, this doesn't even weigh a pound. Okay? It's just a hollow shell. Okay? And it's not even totally solid. It's got the frog right here, which, let me get the frog. I got it over here in water so it won't dry out. Okay, here is your frog right here. See there? Now that fits, of course, right here. There we go. Look at that. Fits on that right there. Okay, and grows from that. So, you know, it's not solid. One solid piece. It's It flexes back here. And primarily, it doesn't widen as much as it flexes like this. See that? Up and down. It just barely, they talk about um, heel expansion. Well, if you watch any videos where they've really studied that, I mean, it's a bare increment that it barely goes over like that. And the reason is, the reason it doesn't just expand out like that is because of the shape. Okay? And because when, because of the canonical, canonical shape of it out like this, because when the pastern extends into the lateral cartilages here, it pushes them out. And what is the effect on the bottom part of a canon canonical shape when the top is pushed out? When the top here, when the pressure is put here and here, pushing it out, then what is the effect? The effect is to almost want to travel right down here and push the heels and the sides in. Yet, there's so much weight and force, it can't really push it in. So what the effect has when that comes down like that is very, very, very little heel expansion here. Very, very little. Um, the most flex in the foot is up and down here and here. Flexing with the up and down like this. You watch your horse walk and you'll see this foot flex up here up and down here. Okay, so 
always remember you are dealing with two objects and look as far as thickness you really haven't got a lot of thickness on this thing that covers it pretty much about well with the lamina I'd say maybe uh, a third to half of an inch but then uh, the wall itself is only about a fourth of an inch thick a fourth to a third of an inch thick and a good foot is not based on having a really thick sole but having an anatomically correct sole when the toe wall gets pulled forward this way it stretches okay you see this wall here it's meant to contain the sole tubules in here at a certain angle so they grow down like that but when the wall stretches forward those sole tubules start growing more like that okay what you need you need them to grow at a certain angle down like that die off and exfoliate so a good foot is not based on a really thick sole in fact you could have a real lame horse with real thick sole um, a good foot is based on an anatomically correct fitting hoof capsule to the inner foot. Okay, so we're going to talk here a little bit about what's called horn tubules. Now, when the foot, this shell here, this is called horn. Same thing horn's made out of. It's a keratin. It's the same thing your hair is made out of. Um, it feathers, but it gets hard. Okay, so these little, you'll see little lines, you see little lines going down there? Those are horn tubules. One tubule starts up here, it grows down, 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 and comes out the bottom here. Now, you have all these hair-like horn tubules coming down, they're real hard, and they're melded together by what's called intertubular horn. Okay, and kind of uh, in a, well, we're not going to go into the whole pattern. Okay, so the part that you that starts up here, like say right here, it grows down like this to the ground. Now I want you to understand that. Again, well, this is structural engineering principles. Look at my clock. Who I'm got about four minutes here. Okay, let's say that this this is a chunk of uh, hoof wall. Let's see. Okay, I got a chunk of hoof wall right here. See there? Okay, this is a chunk of hoof wall right here. Okay, now we know that the horn tubules don't grow down straight, but that they grow down at an angle. Okay, so let's put our little chunk of hoof wall at an angle here. Now, these horn tubules are meant to grow at a certain angle like say like so okay but when when they get long um, the longer they get they grow forward watch this let's see if I can do this okay here's your here's here's your hoof wall and it's growing down okay do you see how it grows forward okay okay now look down here here's where let's say this is your heel here's where your heel is hitting but as the foot grows longer, then where is your heel hitting? Okay, it's hitting way forward of where it should be, right? And so this is how hoof distortion starts. And uh, what happens is as the wall grows longer, well, let's get this right here, and the weight, the horse is bearing the weight on the tip of this heel more forward, um, this is what starts to happen. Slowly these horn tubules, which are meant to be at a certain angle in the hoof capsule to maintain the weight properly. Okay, we'll have to come back on that one.